Hey guys, just a quick reminder. Before we get into the video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified every time that I post. Thank you for your time. Hello ladies, hello gentlemen. Uh, we are finally here and I know that this is the part most of us have been waiting. The part where we start actually building our project. So okay, without further ado, let's get into it. The first thing I would like you, I want you to do is to download this folder. I will leave the link in the description for this. After you download this images folder, you're going to have these images, then cats, these images, and these images. All of these images are going to be very, very, very important throughout our project, but I'll leave the link in the description of the video or oh, I'll, I'll provide the link somehow uh, so the first thing you're going to do open Android studio then we're going to let me if you're using a Mac you can just do terminal uh, open simulator if you are using Android studio you won't do it like this you have to open Android Studio first then you'll run your virtual device which is going to be an Android device right okay while our device is booting we're going to start flutter project then you hit next then we're going to name this shop app underscore of tutorials or course what uh, I'll give it course uh, I'll give okay I'll leave it to course to you can name this whatever you want this is just a name I'm providing okay I'm going to give next and finish this may take a while to finish so just be patient okay so after all the processing is done this is what you're going to get let's try to run this app this is just a simple app a basic one we just are going to run it and see what are we going to see let me try to push this over here so it will be easier for us to see what's happening uh, when you are running the app for the first time, it usually takes some time to show on the emulator. So let's just wait for a while or just jump. See you in a second. So guys, uh, this is it. Here we have the app. This is a basic one. It comes with our Flutter framework. I guess we all know that by now. So the first thing we're going to we're going to do before we even start working, we're going to take this folder, the images folder, and we are going to copy it over here let's just drag it and drop drop it here okay then you have it uh, for you it's going to be probably on your downloads folder you just uh, take the that, that the, the folder you downloaded drag and drop it here okay so let's start working uh oops did i just move main dot dart it's just a copy okay what am i doing i'm sorry guys i'm dragging this with a um let let us start working now i would like to have 
a reference of what we're doing here actually so it would be nice to have a screenshot of our app as a reference but for now we can do this we will delete here and just write import we're going to import the package flatter material dart then avoid main oops Rain app I guess that by now you guys already know what's happening here and I'm going to call this widget material app widget and I'm going to give home then I'm going to create a stateful widget and I'll call that widget home page as for now we don't have this home page so what are we going to do is come down here you just write STF and you'll get the shortcut shortcut and you can write home page so the error will disappear okay let's try to run this and see what's going to happen nothing so what are we going to do here instead of returning a container we are going to return a widget a very helpful widget called the scaffold widget for the scaffold widget we have some properties which are very very handy and one of them is the up bar then I'm going to give this new up bar we're going to provide a property called title and for the title we're going to give text uh, the name of our app is shop app I guess let's try to run this again now Ta -da! magic so let's do a small recap here on our run app we are running a material app widget and one of the properties of the material app widget is the home and for the home we are providing this home page which is a stateful widget you have your stateful widget as the home page what is it a stateful widget why is the home page uh, considered a stateful widget not a stateless widget because in this home page we'll probably have things that will change for example we can have um, things that every time you reload the app are going to load differently the contents are supposed to change and most probably we are going to need to change the state of certain widgets inside of the home page widget that's why we will consider this one as a stateful widget okay you just have stateful widget override mean meaning that this function the create state function is an existing function defined inside of this class stateful widget we just are give, giving a new meaning to this class to this function we are creating a state for the home page and this state is called the home page state and here we are creating that class the home page state where we are defining the build function this function is going to build the widget right on that actual context and context is basically uh, where where the widget is sitting inside of the app maybe that's kind of hard to understand for now but okay just bear here with, with me and i guess that when we'll be using these uh, things it, they're going to get easier but okay let's stop the talking and go back to the coding 
so here we have it and uh, what else are we going to do we are going to do sorry we are going to do background color we are going to give it colors dot red you can give it any color you want I just gave it red because the, the, the original app is red and just hit control s uh, command s for Mac and it will automatically save so now what do we want to do I would like to do uh, I would like to make this disappear here this banner here so you rewrite debug show check mode banner and just write false you hit command s and uh, okay for this one we need to reload here it's gone okay let me open the image of the original app so we can have reference of what we're trying to do for whatever reason I just deleted it but I will just I will just recover the image okay let me open it so here's what we have here we have two icon buttons here and we have one icon here but okay this icon will be provide provided automatically when I'm going to use our drawer which are going to do to do in this specific class for now let's try to this do this and as you can see the name of the app here I gave fetch app and here I'm giving shop app so I'll go back to fetch app so we'll be doing exactly the same thing fetch app which stands for fashion app right okay how can we do that first let's change the name I want to do the same thing so am I deleting something that I'm not supposed to delete okay mm, let's give it fetch app okay now what are we going to do here we are going to use a property called action and inside of the action let me zoom it so to make sure that it's visible for you guys and inside of the action we are going to provide a new icon button we need a button then for the icon we are going to give icon then we are going to give icons dot the first icon is search I was misspelling it search let's command save to see what happens and you see we have the search button here but we have a couple problems not very visible so to do this to solve this problem we can try coming in here and write color and we're going to give it colors dot white command save it it's white but still if you try to press it nothing is going to happen why because here for this property on 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 pressed it's now what are we going to do we are going to provide an empty function here just like this this means that the function is empty for now right And if you can see now have a special effect when you click on it now let's just to not waste time let's just copy this and we will paste it down